Game three, the Memphis Grizzlies, led by John Morant, travel to California to take on Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors. I got my favorite player prop, spread lean and same game parlay coming your guys' way. Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is Austin from Calling Our Shot. Welcome back. We have two games on for Saturday, May 7th in the NBA. I have a completely separate video for the Celtics versus Bucks, which is a little bit earlier on this game. I believe this tip-off is around 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. The Bucks game tipped off around 3.30 p.m. If I'm not mistaken, the same player prop, spread lean and same game parlay in that one. Now, these videos are going live on Friday night, so I won't be able to recap all of our Friday plays, although I was watching Bam out of bio. We took us under 18 and a half points. Yeah, best thing to do is nine. So a great, great cash out for that one. Hopefully the second play on the slate can do pretty well. What do we have? Macau Bridges ladder play. Hopefully he treats us nicely. But either way, if you are new to the Call on Our Shot channel, welcome aboard. If you want to hit that subscribe button down below, we certainly would appreciate it. I believe we're at almost 500 subscribers away from 33,000. Throw up the threes. Hopefully we can hit that today. We appreciate you guys all as always. Drop a like down below too. We really appreciate those likes. Helps us do better on the on the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you want to drop a comment down below your favorite bet, we certainly would. I'm curious what you guys are riding with because maybe I'll tail a couple of you guys in the comments. Some of you guys have been lobbing us some winners if you are tailing those guys. Now, shout out again to Prize Picks for sponsoring the channel. If you want to use use Prize Picks, great place to place your player prop parlays. And plus, if you use code COS, you get a hundred percent deposit match up to a hundred dollars. Like it's a great deal. And we're going to be posting some Prize Picks parlays as the next coming upcoming days. So make sure. You get locked in. Use that. I will post those on Twitter probably. Use code COS or the link in the description. Again, shout out to our COS All Stars. Thank you guys always for supporting the channel. If you want to support us a little bit more, click that join button on the channel or the link in the description. We certainly appreciate our newest All Star, Rohan. You're the real MVP. Shout out to all our new and existing All Stars. Really appreciate all you guys out there. Thank you guys so, so much. No more wasting time here. Let's get into my favorite player prop for this showdown. But what? We tried 1 1. So this is a pivotal game three. I wanted to take Dylan Brooks's under, but uh, yeah. He's suspended. So maybe we'll wait for game four to take his under. And look, I got to say, although we can't bet Dolan Brooks, get your swimsuits, get your floaties on because we're having a pool party. Because today we're taking pool, Jordan Poole over 21 and a half points, minus 114 on FanDuel. Now, Jordan Poole, we love him. He obviously came on to the show when Stephen Curry went down. And this guy's been lighting it up ever since then. Absolutely going ballistic. And he's been pretty good in the playoffs so far this this uh, playoff run into, get, into round two against the Grizzlies. Now in game one, Poole lit it up, 31 points in that game coming off the bench. Obviously, he's coming off the bench, still going to play close to 35, 40 minutes. They, they come off the bench, but he's, he's really just going to be in their starting lineup for the majority of the game. Now, in game two, he had 20 points, so he did go under, was very close to it. But the field goal attempts are there for Mr. Poole. He had 20 and 16 field goal attempts so far this series. I imagine he continues to shoot a lot because they're going to be this is going to be a fast-paced game. Unlike kind of those series against the Nuggets, Grizzlies team that plays super fast. And we look at it, the Grizzlies down their best perimeter defender, Dylan Brooks. Now, they were down Dylan Brooks majority of game two as we took his under and he got ejected within the first two or three minutes. Hence why he is suspended today. But so I imagine they put all their defensive focus focus on stopping Stephen Curry. You can't let Curry get high. If he gets hot, their whole arena is going to be shaking. It, you're you're going to be losing that game no matter what happens. And so imagine they throw a lot of people at Stephen Curry and Jordan Poole might be the beneficiary guy that can drive the rim, finish it with contact. And look, Poole has 22 plus points hitting this over in 19 of his last 25 games with 15 plus field goal attempts. Obviously, he's hit 15 plus field goal attempts in both games this series with 16 and 20. At home, these playoffs played pretty well. He had 30, 29, and then eight points. Now, the eight points is a little bit suspect. You're like, oh no, what happened? He was in foul trouble that game, didn't even play 30 minutes. So, can't really blame him on that one. I think he plays a lot more minutes today, obviously. Now, there's no Gary Payton in the second either, as he got injured thanks to Dylan Brooks. No comment on that. So, even less depth for this Warriors team, who doesn't have really a lot of guard depth. They got, obviously, Stephen Curry. They got Jordan Poole. But then after that, what? We got Damian Lee. You got Clay Thompson, if you consider him a guard. Not a lot of guard depth there. So, we should see, we should see Jordan Poole play his normal minutes, if not even a couple more. Clay Thompson, where are you at, brother? Because you've been struggling. He's really been bad the past three games, going 16 of 51 from the field, 6 for 28 from the three-point line. Maybe he gets it going today. Maybe this is a bounce-back performance for Clay Thompson, but he's really been struggling, so I imagine we'll see Jordan Poole continue to fire shots. We see a over-under set at 225.5 points. Obviously, the last game when Jordan Poole went under, they only you saw the Warriors only score 101 points. Their team total much higher than that today, probably in the 115-ish range, if I were to guess, off the top of my head. So, I think we'll see Poole set. I have his line closer set to 25 points. I think he's going to get us 25 hint, hint, on that same game parlay you'll see in a second. Also, like his over two and a half threes, it was plus 100 on BetMGM, which was a plus EV bet. Consider that here. But I'll just take Jordan Poole over 21 and a half points. Look, Poole's going to be running in transition. A Grizzlies team that plays super fast. Also, a Grizzlies team without Dylan Brooks. So that's D'Anthony Melton, Zaire Williams. 
Those guys, not as great as defenders as a guy like Dylan Brooks. I think Jordan Poole, we're having a pool party today. Get your floaties on. Take this over, 21 and a half points. Now let's move on and let's talk about two leans in this one. John Morant, over 27 and a half points. I'll kind of stick around and we'll wait for a second so you can hear kind of why I like that lean and we'll talk about him in a second. But more of my spread lean. I like the Warriors minus the seven points. Look, I think they're begging for you to take the Grizzlies. Obviously game one, Grizzlies lost by one point. Game two, they won by five. So now you'd be like, why are the Warriors seven point favorites? Look, that's betting spreads in the NBA. I don't like doing them. Hence, whether the NBA, whether they're just a lean, but I lean the Warriors. I think they cover this one. I think they bounce back, get this win. And you know, you know, John Morant can only carry a team so far. I mean, the guy's been putting the team on his back so far, but without Dylan Brooks, I, I I would hope Steve Kerr at least throws a couple more bodies towards John Morant's way. Maybe makes it tougher on him to score points. But either way, I lean the Warriors to win this one and cover that seven points. If I had to bet it, that's just kind of where I lean. Although, I'll probably be rooting for the Grizzlies because I love watching John Morant. But overall, I think this Warriors are a better team. And I think they win this big game three. They know how big. This is a team with a lot more playoff experience than the Grizzlies. So, I think the Warriors bounce back and win this game. Maybe by double digits in this matchup. Now, let's talk about... Same game parlay. Now, there are a couple different legs we could have had for this one, but I'm just going to go to two legs. Plus 255 odds, plus 2.5. We got two guys scoring 25 points, Jordan Poole and John Morant. Now, obviously, you've already heard me talk about Jordan Poole. I said I think you have him projected closer to 25 points today. Why not throw him in for 25 plus points? It's plus 168 alone. And look, I think Jordan Poole's got a good chance. Look, if he gets hot, he could easily clear this line. It's obviously, you know, there's not going to be very many games where Clay, Steph, and Jordan Poole are all cooking. So hopefully it's maybe just Jordan Poole and maybe Clay, Jordan Poole and Steph Curry. I think Jordan Poole is the guy that's going to be aggressive. This is what they have him in there to score buckets. Not necessarily be a big kind of guy on the defensive side of the ball, but he's there. He's going to drive to the rim. And if Jaron Jackson Jr. is not blocking a shot, Jaron Jackson Jr. gets into foul trouble every game. So I think we should see Jordan Poole, 25 plus points, not asking for a ton more. Now, John Morant, 25 plus points honestly asking a little bit lower than his line why lean is over 27 and a half is because i do expect the warriors to throw some more things at him look they have to you can't let a guy score 37 45 points on you and just expect you know eh, fine we'll just live with it and while john morant might struggle a little bit more today i do lean to him to get 25 plus points maybe even get his over the guy shot 31 times in both games one and two he's going to continue to shoot a ton because Desmond Bain, he's, there's the APB out for him. You got Dylan Brooks, he's actually out for this game. And then Jaron Jackson Jr., who knows what he does on a game-to-game -game basis. So a lot of scoring needs to be done to keep up with this Warriors team. So I think John Moran's going to have to carry the load. The rest are getting blown out in this one. So unless John Moran's got like 18 assists in this matchup, which I don't see happening. So I think John Moran at 25-plus points. Obviously, Jordan Poole, 25-plus points. The odds... Plus 255, not too bad. Feel free to throw in some more legs. I just never know who's going to, you know, if you pick pool, hard to, I'd expect Curry to at least get us 20 points, but 25 points for Curry. Who knows? Clay Thompson obviously struggling. Don't want to bet on Draymond Green to get anything but maybe some rebounds and some assists. Don't really want to mess with too many SGPs too early, but we'll have some more SGPs again for tomorrow, Sunday slate of games. Obviously, if you want to check out our best bets for a player prop, a spread lean, and another same game parlor, which I believe is like plus 300 odds for the Bucks versus Celtics, definitely go check it out. I think we're going to have a good day in both of that game and this one. We appreciate you guys as always for tuning into the call on our shop channel. It's been Austin. I'll be back again tomorrow, probably later on tonight, Saturday night, for some more plays. Thank you guys as always for watching. Prize picks link on the screen. Definitely go check it out. Bucks versus Celtics link on the screen as well. Appreciate you guys as always. It's been Austin. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.